Hello Vetrex fans out there. Today I'd like to show you a brand new development for the good old Vetrex console called VacFever. VacFever is a multi-development module which has uh, some uh, amazing features I'd uh, like to show you now. This is the final prototype I've got directly from the developer and uh, I plug it now into my Vetrex and let's see what's happening. On the first start you see as first the internal memory and uh, then uh, the internal Mindstorm ROM will be displayed and with every delivered copy of VacFever you also get a full version of Robot Arena. So what's now the main difference between this multi-card and uh, other products that are available on the market? VacFever has a built-in CPU to emulate ROM and RAM. So normally when you launch a game on a multi-card you uh, can't uh, leave it. For uh, changing the game you always have to uh, power your VecTrax down and turn it on again and change a different binary on uh, VecFever. You simply have to press reset to get back to the uh, multi-card main menu. So uh, now let's start uh, Mindstorm, that's the built-in ROM and uh, see what's happening when we press on uh, the reset button. Backfever is uh, able to start the internal ROM of the Vetrex with the Mindstorm version or you can also use a newer version that's uh, available uh, on the internet. Um, we launch it now and uh, you see it boots normally up, there's no delay or anything else. And uh, let's start the game. So. Uh, Mindstorm is now running and uh, we simply push the reset button and ta-da! We are back into the main menu. Now we launch uh, the full uh, copy of Robot Arena that's uh, also included into the VAC Fever and uh, when you now think, oh no, I'd like to play something uh, different again, you simply press on the reset button and you come back to the main menu. So let's talk about the internal memory. VacFever has a USB connector and when you connect your card to your PC you can simply copy all your files via drag and drop directly to the module. That means uh, you never have to use any special software or something like that to update your module. It's always possible by simply copying files directly to the VacFever module. Um, I copied here some games from the internet directly to my module and uh, it's a clean sweep. And uh, here is the same when you push on the reset button you simply come back to the main menu. VacFever supports all known games and demos and uh, has also built-in bank switching and so on so it's full compatible with all known stuff that's uh, available to uh, today. So let's have a look uh, at the options menu. VacFever supports all versions of uh, hardware of the Vetrex and uh, also all known uh, chip types. That means uh, in the beginning you have to configure um, the text calibration. The text calibration uh, has uh, a timing set up for uh, all known uh, chip versions of the Vetrex. So, uh, Every Vetrex has uh, a specific delay that uh, can be set up to get uh, the best results for the fonts. Uh, now let's talk about high scores. VacFever is able to save high scores for over 30 classic games. That means these games will be patched in real time and uh, get at the end a nice high score list that uh, where you can enter your name and it will be saved uh, directly onto the cartridge. So uh, let's have a look at Berserk. To uh, get into the high score list of uh, Berserk you need uh, 2000 points. 
So uh, let's fast forward the gameplay a little bit to get into the high score list. So, we got a new high score and uh, let's see what's happening. You get a uh, screen where you can enter your initials and uh, this will be saved into uh, the new generated high score list. The high score list has a nice uh, a game logo on the top and displays you 8 entries. You have the possibility to reset this list by simply selecting the game in the uh, browser and uh, push a button and uh, then comes uh, the, the options for uh, showing the list and uh, resetting it. Uh, when you select a game that uh, has no high score list then uh, only the logo will be shown and uh, you see there are some uh, more graphics already built in but uh, no high scores were uh, saved for these uh, games. This uh, will all be done by uh, patching in real time the game binaries and uh, adding uh, the high score mechanism. This works with all uh, known classic games and uh, also with uh, homebrew stuff. The uh, setup of VEC Fever you can also uh, configure if you like to see uh, the uh, top graphics or if you like to see uh, 10 entries in instead of 8 and uh, so on. So um, the whole software of the VEC Fever is also a binary file on the uh, internal memory and can be easily updated so uh, you don't need any programming device or anything like that to uh, make uh, software updates for VEC Fever. It's uh, very easy and simple to use. You uh, are also able to copy an export menu onto your flash memory and with this um, menu you are able to change uh, the font and the font size of uh, your VEC Fever card. You can do uh, joystick tests, you can uh, password your system uh, that no one uh, uh, makes changes to your settings and so on. So uh, VEC Fever has uh, built in everything you ever wanted. So uh, let's speed up again the video a little bit to show uh, the high score mechanism that can be changed and uh, after this uh, we will uh, talk a bit about uh, the developer mode uh, that's uh, built in, into the uh, VEC Fever module. The developer mode gives you the possibility to run uh, binaries that have at least 1024 kilobytes. So here we have a jukebox that has a size of 64 kilobytes and uh, contains only four songs. But uh, with the advanced bank switching technology from uh, VEC Fever, you are able to create binaries that have at least uh, 1024 kilobytes. And you see here our jukebox with uh, tons of songs all already loaded into the memory and uh, they can play it uh, directly. When you turn on the developer mode on the VEC Fever side, you get an uh, extra 96 kilobyte size RAM disk. When the VEC Fever is now connected via a USB cable to your computer, you can directly compile the binary into the VEC Fever module and run it by pushing one button. So you don't have to copy it first to an SD memory or something like that. You can directly run your fresh compiled binaries. That makes it very easy to write timing critical stuff and uh, try it directly on your original hardware instead of using an emulator or something like that. So your final question will now be when can I buy this amazing piece of hardware? The hard and software development of VEC Fever is finished. The hardware uh, production has already been started and the first cartridges should appear in December. As uh, Thomas, the developer, told me, the first cartridges will only be shipped to selected developers and uh, if these guys are saying everything runs absolutely perfect, uh, then the uh, Back Fever goes on sale for uh, 
all other people so that they can get an uh, absolute perfect uh, product for their Vetrex uh, gaming system. So I hope you uh, like this first view on the uh, VecFever uh, development card and uh, if you have any questions please uh, write them uh, down below into the comments. Thank you and bye.